everyone so today we will see that how to integrate the pay you payment gateway non seamless inside your application suppose this is my current application and in this application i have just one activity which is the main activity so i can show you the ui uh, suppose this is some ui of my checkout screen now on click of this checkout i want to open the payment options like credit debit card net banking those options and i need to do the payment so what all things i need to do first of all you uh, you must be having the sdk ui module which is a part of the pay you uh, integration kit so what i'll do i'll import it as a module as a module i'll import it so just go to the path from where yeah no now it's importing it's going to take some time now the module is getting imported yeah so now the module has been imported uh, this is the sdk ui module uh, this contain all the activities uh, including the screens credit debit card screens and everything now let's do one thing let's uh integrate our uh, application uh with this okay so suppose this is my fresh activity blank activity main activity now here i need to integrate so uh, there are couple of things that i need to do uh here i'll do one thing i'll just refer the main activity of the sample application that you'll be having you'll be getting that in the description of this video as well so here i'll be uh, taking all these things payment params pay you configs so these are the important parameters that i require for doing a transaction here i'll take it up and after that i'll uh, i'll paste it in this class okay now so you can see that it is not able to access the payment params and pay you config since it is a part of the sdk ui so first of all i'll add the dependency of sdk ui so just go to the open module settings here in the dependencies i will add a module dependency on the sdk ui and then i'll click okay so the gradle is building and uh it will it will add a dependency of sdk ui to my project uh now here i need to do one more thing uh this is pu dot set instance this so this thing is actually used to set a initial context for pay you and this you need to do in your own activity uh, in, in uh, on create of your main activity uh, apart from this there is a complete method that i have already prepared so i'll do one thing i'll copy paste the complete code and then i'll tell you that what exactly this code is doing okay see here we are doing uh, what we are doing we are setting a merchant key 
then we are taking up a email we are said we are taking up a amount all the important parameters we are taking it up here we are setting the parameters in a payment params object and payment params and after that after after collecting all the parameters i am posting this to the i am uh, passing it to this method generate hash from server so this method will actually generate uh, a hash from uh, the hashes from the server based upon these payment params so let's take out that code as well from the sample activity so this is exactly the code which i need to require so i'll take out the complete code yeah so this is the complete code which is required uh, let's paste it in my main activity now the code has been pasted so i'll show you uh, wh what we have done we have collected all the parameters in this in this uh, particular method all the parameters have been collected like the curl curl and all the things like uh, first of all uh, this is the merchant key that you need to take it up now after that we have a environment like here i have set the staging environment this is for testing purpose in order to uh, do testing on live you need to change it to production environment okay so currently i'll move it to staging only uh, because i need to test my flow first now email then amount then user credential user credential is actually used for save card feature and the uh, the syntax for this is uh, your merchant key colon some unique id related to the user uh, next thing is the param payment params here i am collecting all the payment params key amount production info product info first name email and all the things now there is a surl and furl so uh, here so here you can see one thing that there is a surl and there is a furl so in surl uh, and furl these two files you need to create on your server and after that you need to change the urls with your server urls now there is udf1 to udf5 here you can pass any additional information related to your uh, related to your application okay and after that i will go to the generate hash from server method in this method i am uh, passing all these parameters to my server url where i am generating the hashes so uh, this is the url this is the url from where i am generating the hashes right now i am making a http post request and sending all the parameters to my server there i am generating the hashes and then they are returned back so these are the hashes yeah, which are returned uh, back my, like the uh, payment hash uh, where's for mobile sdk hash so my then, uh, also payment related details from mobile sdk hash right? and, and the all these hashes uh, these hashes you can also check it from the uh, sample application which will be shared in the description of this video after that we are uh, we are launching this particular sdk ui method so let's take it up from the sample activity let's take this method as well from the sample activity so this is the method launch sdk ui okay okay fine now here here all the things have been completely set up uh, i am uh, making an intent to my payu base activity and then i am setting a payu config and now what exactly is a payu config i'll uh, tell you uh, see uh, you can see that uh, we are uh, using a payu config is used for setting the configuration okay so here i am setting my environment that on which environment i am doing the testing and i have already set my environment to staging environment it means i am setting the uh, it means i am doing a testing on the staging environment right now okay so after that all the payu config payment params and payu hashes these three things i'll be sending you i'll be sending to my next activity so here i'll do start activity start activity for result and i'll be setting the my intent as well as 
au constants dot au request code yeah so uh, my code is completely set up one more thing i need to do that uh, uh, this will launch another activity and the transaction will be done now i need to uh, i need to identify whether the transaction was successful or failure so for that thing uh, the result will come in own activity result of this uh, activity so i'll check out the code of that own activity result as well from here so uh, i'll take out the code of the own activity result method also from uh, my this activity yeah here here it is so i'll take out this code as well with me okay see uh, now now i think the flow has been completely set up let's do one thing let's uh, let's attach attach this code on my button click so i'll go to my ui part and inside the ui part i have a checkout button like if you can see here here this is the checkout button i need to execute that code on this so i'll on click then i have made this method navigate to base activity this method it will make up all the payment parameters and after making all the payment parameters it will generate the hashes and after generating the hashes and in on post execute it will launch the sdk ui and from there i'll be intent to the next class now the work is done everything will be done there itself in the sdk ui uh, you don't have to do anything now now let's do one thing let's check it out let's start the application it might take some time to build yeah so the, the application has run on the emulator now now let's see if uh, if the flow has been completely set up now on click of this button our code should run yeah yeah it's run yeah so it will open up the sdk ui and the complete payment will be done now let's enter the card details Uh, since I am doing transaction on testing, so that's why I am using the test card for doing the payment. If you are doing a transaction on production, you should use your live card. So I have entered all the details. Now let's see. Uh, let's click on pay now. So uh, this loader is actually a part of the pay use custom browser. And uh, okay, so the transaction is doing where we are working on it yeah actually uh, it, it depends upon the internet connection as well that uh, if you if you have a good internet connection so this process might be uh, it, it, it might take uh, less time yeah so the there are number of redirections which are happening at the bank's end So the payment has been successful and you will get the response. So this is the alert dialog that we have set in our own activity result. So in this alert dialog you can you can see that you there are uh, there is complete data. There is ID, there is a mode uh, which is a credit card CC. Status is success. So the complete data has been received. So uh, here this this was the point where the data has been received in own activity result this was the point where the data has been received so uh, i have shown you that how to do a integration uh, from scratch in uh, your main activity and entering all the code and then attaching it with the payment payment uh, with the payment module sdk ui so uh, Thanks for watching and I think that you have 
you have understood the complete flow. Thanks.